Okay, so I'm really excited about the next thing that's going to happen on stage. Um, for the first time that I know of, at least in the 10 years or 11 years that I've been teaching in Worthington, our middle school band and orchestra combining forces for a symphonic orchestra experience. Um, this is the brainchild of Ms. Bobert, our band director at uh, Perry and Phoenix. And we have so many shared students that are really enthusiastic about band and fire and orchestra and music in general. And they're really, really special kids, um, as are all of our students. But this eighth grade class is just really incredible. And we have this opportunity where we could come together and make music together. So what you're going to hear is a very dissonant, angry piece, kind of like a middle schooler. Um, but it is called Mars, and it is the first movement of Gustav Holst's The Planets. Um, it's tricky. It's in 5-4. Normally musicians don't count past four, so that's been a challenge. It uses a lot of special effects, like using the back side of our bow. And it's the first time that we've had this opportunity to combine winds, brass, percussion, strings. So we're all listening in a totally different way. Um, it's dissonant. It's fun. And I hope you enjoy um, our eighth grade symphonic orchestra. Thank you.
welcome to our concert. Uh, so the next song that the eighth graders and the high school orchestra are going to be combining on is called Song for Emma. Um, in this moving and deeply personal work, Sue called upon his childhood upbringing in Korean 